Let me show you this. Click here and then notes. Check this. So many new options. But let me show you how it works and then we'll come back here. Okay, let's create a new note here. New note. And you might remember that we can drag any note from the list to create a link. But sometimes the note we are looking for is not that close by. So now there is a new option here. Note link. You can, I'm going to choose the same one. And here it is, but there is more. Hover the mouse over the link, click the three dots, and you can convert this to a print view. Isn't this cool? Of course, if you don't want this anymore, you can convert it to a title again. And of course, you can move this around, you can reorder the items, insert text in between them, or for example, we can add a table and drag them inside that table. And of course, you can move the entire table. Okay, let's go back to the settings. Here's where you set up the default behavior. You can choose the options for Evernote links, for images, PDFs, Google Drive, and even YouTube links. I don't know about you, but I think this makes things much better. If this information was useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.